My name is Isabel. I am a Peace Corps volunteer here in Cameroon. I'm a health volunteer in a small village. It's about a thousand, a little over a thousand people. It's actually the center of the whole health area. When I first came, um, I asked a lot of people uh, when I did my community needs assessment, what is the number one health issue in your village? And the unanimous question was malaria. This community, many children suffer from malaria. Why? Because they don't sleep under mosquito nets. They don't hang it. My malaria projects are composed of three phases. So the first phase is sensitization. Second is the bed net hang up and census survey campaign. And the third is malaria test and treat. I work with so many counterparts, so many people in this project, and each of them had a, an amazing role to play. Tabitando Marie is another nurse. She was also there at the malaria test and treat campaign, testing children, dispensing drugs, and consulting. Bisong George, he's the chairman of the health district, and he really helped out again with advice, um, with publicity, transportation. Agbor Damien Ari. He's the pharmacist here. He was actually there during the test and treat campaign, um, testing children, dispensing drugs. For the first phase of my campaign, we called it the malaria tour. Um, uh, the chairman and I went around from village to village and we basically did a health talk on malaria. Second phase of my project is the bed net hang up and census survey campaign. People were happy meds, but at the same time coming again here because of malaria. So she talked about that many people were having those nets, but they were not putting it into use. She used her own initiative now, and she gathered us, and now went door to door campaign. We did the inspection if the nets are there, if you have those nets, and if you are using them. And we came to realize that most of the people, they have those nets, but they were not using them. Even though we reached over 700 households, we were only able to hang up 55 bed nets. And that was because most of the people actually had their bed nets already hung. And a bunch of people also declined to have their nets hung. So that's why I did the third phase of my campaign. That's the malaria test and treat campaign. Is we discovered that um, we cannot just focus on bed net prevention, I mean bed net usage. Um, and that is a crucial, that is the heart of our malaria messaging. But it would be incomplete without talking about early malaria treatment. So what we did was we went ahead and um, did a testing campaign in each village. And we moved in all the communities in this health area, children from one, uh, one day old to five years. We will put under this uh, screening of this uh, exercise and also pregnant women and every community was touched. We did rapid diagnostic tests. Um, the children came, we diagnosed them and then sent them back home. Uh, if they are positive, we sent them home with treatment and our results were actually kind of scary. So we were able to, to test 718 children below five as well as pregnant women. And amongst those 718, 47% had malaria. For us, this was a really, really important piece of statistic because going forward, now we can really tell people how badly malaria affects their communities and then go back and tell them, this is why you need to sleep under the bed net every night.